a lot of Western countries right now, a lot of European countries, but specifically countries like Germany, crack down on voices that are perceived to be anti-Zionist, anti-Israeli, but it is happening within a context of a society that is on paper supposed to value freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of assembly. How do you read what's happening there? It's a nice space of democracy. The space that we fantasize about as being really nice. Everybody's egalitarian. Uh, uh, the state uh, treats everybody as a citizen. This space was historically dependent on a violent colonial space. So uh, to enjoy your cup of tea in London, you needed violence in India. And what was the essence of the enjoyment was the ability to separate the two spaces so that you don't realize the link between your enjoyment of the cup of tea in London and the violence that's being done in India. We are seeing a general breakdown of this ability to keep the two spaces separate. The lack of democracy that used to be enclosed and safely pushed away has seeped into the metropolis. Mm. In Germany, you can see that. In France, you can see that. Uh, all the democratic uh, institutions, uh, you see flashes of them turning into exactly their opposite. All European states are, on one hand, egalitarian, democratic states, but also they are white supremacist states. And white supremacy flashes out of them. Every now and then it hits you. And, and it would be wrong to say, use that flash to say, no, there's no democracy, there's only racism. Because the difficulty is that they both coexist. It is true that the state is democratic, and it is true that a lot of migrants enjoy, in fact, the fact that they go to England, they come to Australia, and they say, you know, it's so amazing, I can go to, to a government office and I get what I want without needing some bloody Zaim or chef to, to intercede. I feel I'm treated in my own right. People experience this all the time. But then, you get that flash of racism that reminds you that it's not just that the state is also a white supremacist mm -hmm. state that can put you down, take away your rights, etc. And now you see it uh, in uh, how a citizenship, which used to be some a sacrosanct category, you know, once you're a citizen, you're a citizen, and now suddenly says, "Well." We're going to take it away from you. I don't like you. 